and welcome to another Jacob's Arcade videos. Today we're going to be sporting the Skill Crane uh, by Greyhound. This machine was produced in 1986, or at least roughly right around 1986. And this machine uh, is really kind of what got the ball rolling for all of these arcades that you're seeing on my page right now. Um, well, that and a, and a 1992 fishtail that my father uh, purchased when I was seven years old. But that one's not currently working at the moment. We're hoping to have that shop this summer. Um, but of course, you know, plants can change all of a sudden. Um, this machine uh, we got when I was 15 years of age, so it's already uh, been about five years, five years ago since we got this machine. Um, just a little bit about claw machines in of itself. Um, claw machines can be, they, oh, they are rigged. Let's just say that right now. They are completely rigged. Um, and the machines can be set for different types of plays, how many times you want them to win. So uh, the lowest machine I've seen is uh, one in about four. So for every four plays that that machine has, it'll grab hard one time. So um, most machines, especially on dollar machines, they'll be set for maybe one in 20 or one in 50, depending uh, how the machine is set up by the operator. So, um, like I said, the, probably the lowest I've ever seen is one in four. But this one, luckily, um, we purchased completely working and it was set for one in one. So the claw is going to grab hard every single time, depending on how the um, how the animal below it is being picked up. As always with our arcades, we uh, we purchased this uh, and put on a moment momentary off on switch which gives our machine credit. Uh, I've put three plays on, hopefully I can win something in that time. I've been known to go three for three or zero for three, depending on how it drops. Uh, we purchased this machine out of Sioux Falls, and uh, like I said, it was completely operational for $300, and let's give this a try. Another little bit of a tidbit of when you play a claw machine. A lot of times there's going to be little mirrors or places you can look from the outside of the cabinet. However, if you want to have a good drop, always assume that the claw is going to spin, just like you're going to see in two, one. Okay, it didn't really spin that much, but, um, and as you see, that's the one and one, and we have ourselves a little shamrock bear. I'm going to go for two more times here, and um, as I was saying before, if you want to make sure that you have a good drop every single time, always look in the absolute center of the claw. That itself will should be able to drop over the animal every single time without you having to line it up, but they give you the option to. And so right now I'm going for a little uh, race racing Chuck E. Cheese. Yes! I don't know why I'm so excited about that, but yes! Cool. Um, we also... And now I'm going to go for probably the biggest one. I, I don't know whether to go to, for Snagglepuss or Bob the Builder. I'm going to try for Bob the Builder. And can we do it? Bob the Builder. No, we can't. Shoot. Um, uh, but that's just a little bit of displaying a little bit about the arcade uh, claw machine. If uh, you are any sort of an arcade enthusiast, I highly recommend at least one point in your career having a claw machine. It's wonderful for date night. Um, if you win your girlfriend or boyfriend, whoever, a bear or some sort of animal, it's super duper awesome. This machine uh, we thought came with animals, but we couldn't find them. So we scoured like Goodwill, Salvation Army's garage sales to try to find any sort of stuffed animals, and luckily we did. Um, this is completely filled with like donkeys and treks and other sort of fun things, but um, we just want to thank you uh, so very much, or I should say I, I want to thank you very much for watching uh, my videos, and there are going to be more videos to come. If you like this video, please hit the like button, and also if you like the, uh, these videos, please subscribe, as I'm going to be putting more onto my channel. Uh, currently so far, I have the Atari Hoop It Up, as well as my 19... 63 Major League by Williams out here. Uh, this has been my 1986 Skill Crane by Greyhound. Thank you very much, and have a rockin' day.